I love to sew. I just hate the rolled hem from hell. That was until I perfected it. Now I'm going to show you how in these very easy steps that will make the nightmares of rolling a hem disappear. Step one, stitch as straight as possible a quarter to a half an inch from the edge using the longest machine basting stitch. Make sure that you have allowed for the extra length at the hem to accommodate the roll. It is imperative that if you want to make the perfect rolled hem for your delicate fabric finish such as silk, satin, or chiffon, you must use a basting stitch first. It's a non-negotiable and it's about 75% of the battle of rolling the edge. Whether you're trying to roll a hem using a foot or by free hand, a machine basting stitch helps you to accurately fold and guide the fabric while machine stitching the perfectly rolled hem. Step two. Fold the edge over and press, creating a sharp edge with the pasted stitch on the top of the edge. Carefully cut as close to the basting stitch as possible. There should only be the stitching and the crease left. Beginning at the corner, fold the hem up to its desired placement and pin, only about an inch from the end. If you're using the hemming foot, make sure that the needle is in the center position and begin as close to the end of the roll as possible, but making sure that the end of the fabric is beyond the hole in the machine plate so that the end does not get caught in the hole. Do not backstitch as well if you can help it. Step seven, lower the foot securing the roll and then remove the pin. Lift the roll in front of the pin and feed it in the scroll. Keep the roll lifted high as you slowly feed it through the scroll. Do not try to feed it through flat against the plate. When guiding the roll through the scroll, make sure that the basting stitch line is a little to the left of center of the scroll, ensuring that you get a full roll, but not so far left that you're not able to keep all of the edge in the roll. Use your left hand to pull the fabric flat and tight in the roll. Go slow. Going faster will only make the stitching wavy. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the regular foot of the, of the machine. The only thing is, you see how you have a space right there? You're gonna have to move your needle to the far left position in order to do this or else what's gonna happen is while you're trying to feed the roll in, it's gonna catch up into the middle and it's not going to, it's, your, your rolled edge is going to come out really, really sloppy. So you want the needle all the way over to the left position so that your roll will come out clean. Okay? That's if you're using a regular foot on your machine. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to hand roll our edge. Okay. So we're going to, with both hands, we're going to roll. See, if we didn't have the stitch here, this would be really difficult. But we're going to roll twice. I hope you can see that. We're going to roll twice. And we're going to feed it through a little at, the, at a time. And what our left hand is going to be doing is pulling the fabric this way while we counter with the roll on the right this way to keep this roll very narrow. Um, I can't do it with the camera in my hand, but let's see if I could do it with the camera in my hand.
So, what we're going to do is, see if I can do it. We're going to roll. All right. And pull. Where's our lash? Excuse me, pulling and rolling. And we're going to hold it up. And we're going to make sure that our roll stays thin. And we're going to guide it in. Now look how good of a rolled edge we got with the foot. And that was because we put the stitch there first. We held the fabric up into the scrolling mechanism and we folded it over and just let the tension um, the folded edge and the thread itself the stitch itself uh, do all the work and the guiding into the foot if we had not ironed a fold in and we had not made a guiding stitch this would have come out so sloppy and so thick I hope you have fun with this tutorial and I hope you perfect the rolled hem from hell. Don't forget to subscribe to get the latest videos. And as always, thanks for watching.